Welcome to Wednesday Night Vespers, friends. Let us join together in this time of prayer and scripture reading together with open hearts and minds. Let us center ourselves by taking three deep cleansing breaths. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I'll worship your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. I'll worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul. I'll worship your holy name. Proverbs 29, starting at verse 21. A slave pampered from childhood will come to a bad end. One given to anger stirs up strife, and the hothead causes much transgression. A person's pride will bring humiliation, but one who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. To be a partner of a thief is to hate one's own life. One hears the victim's curse but discloses nothing. The fear of others lays a snare, but one who trusts in the Lord is secure. Many seek the favor of a ruler, but it is from the Lord that one gets justice. The unjust are an abomination to the righteous, but the upright are an abomination to the wicked. Luke chapter 20, starting at verse 9. He began to tell the people this parable. A man planted a vineyard and leased it to tenants, and went to another country for some time. When the season came, he sent a servant to the tenants in order that they might give him his share of the produce from the vineyard. But the tenants beat him and sent him away empty-handed. Next, he sent another servant, one who they also beat and insulted and sent away empty-handed. And he sent still a third. This one they wounded and threw out. Then the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. Perhaps they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him, they discussed it among themselves and said, This is the heir. Let us kill him so that the inheritance may be ours. So they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then is the owner of the vineyard to do? He will come and destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others. When they heard this, they said, heaven forbid. But he looked at them and said, what then does this text mean? The stone that the builders rejected will become the cornerstone. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the scribes and the chief priests realized that he had told this parable against them. They wanted to lay hands on them at that very hour, but they feared the people. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.